welcome to episode 5 of Zen Talk. Today we're going to be talking about graphite and more specifically the Albany Graphite Core. Joining me today will be Zentech CEO Greg Fenton. Welcome Greg. Good morning Jay. Great to be back. I know it's been a few weeks since we've had our last Zen Talk. It's been a, a busy month for us. We've had a lot of going on in the business development side and our AGM but uh, happy to be here today to get the next episode of Zen Talk underway. Great, thanks for joining. Why don't we start with, for those who aren't familiar with Albany, um, can you give a brief overview of the Albany Graphite Deposit? Sure. Albany Graphite Deposit is a very, very unique graphite deposit located in Northern Ontario. It was a deposit that was discovered over a decade ago. Uh, it is a, a, a wholly owned uh, deposit. It's owned by Zentech through a wholly owned subsidiary, the Albany Graphite Corp. Uh, it's a very, very unique form of graphite. Uh, it was formed in the Earth's mantle in a magmatic event. So uh, effectively CO2 and CH4 came together and formed in, if you think about a diamond pipe, it formed in a pipe, uh, very high temperature and pressure, burned off most of the impurities and what was left behind was a very, very unique form of carbon. Probably less than 0.5% of the, of the graphite on the planet is of this type. Uh, because of that, it's got some very, very unique characteristics that make it ideally suited for not only the lithium ion battery market, but for other very, very high-end applications. So again, this is located in Northern Ontario. We did a full drill program back about 10 years ago. We, and that drilling program, we, we went down to about 600 meters and we were still in graphite at 600 meters. So it's open at depth. We think there's a, a tremendous opportunity to expand the resource, but even with what we have now, it's very, very large and looks to play a really important role in the uh, North American battery metal supply chain going forward. Thanks, Greg. So you briefly touched on the North American supply chain, but can you elaborate on what role Albany can play in this North American battery supply chain? Sure. Yeah, Albany is poised to play a really significant role potentially in the in North American battery metal supply chain. Currently, about 75% of the world's graphite is produced out of China. Greater than 95% of the anode ready material, so uh, graphite that's been processed and ready to go into a battery comes out of China. So there is a huge reliance on China for not only graphite, but both, uh, most battery metals. There was in, in 2022, the Biden administration passed the Inflation Reduction Act where they really created a lot of incentives to create this North American battery metal supply chain to diversify its risk away from the reliance on China. With geopolitical tensions heightening like they have, there's a real concern that China could turn off that tap at any moment, and then the, the North American markets would be really exposed. So there's huge investment going into creating this ecosystem within North America Governments, both the U.S. government and the Canadian government, are committing tens of billions of dollars to original equipment manufacturers to build out the infrastructure in North America to be fully self-sufficient. But part of that is the battery metals that actually go into the lithium-ion battery. As we stand right now, there's very little of any graphite production in North America. There's a huge need to bring on substantial quantities of graphite going forward to be able to fill that void. And Albany is well positioned to be one of the suppliers into that market. And based on what I said earlier, the unique nature of the Albany graphite deposit uh, and the graphite itself lends it very well to being a, a significant player in that space going forward. So Albany is well positioned. We have a relatively sizable deposit and given the backdrop and the demand and the investment that we're seeing going into that space by governments, there's a real opportunity for us here moving forward. Thanks, Greg. That's a great overview. Now on the topic of governments, can you talk about any government interests right now? 
Sure. So, you know, it is in the public domain that uh, under the Inflation Reduction Act, the DOD, so the Department of Defense in the U.S. and Natural Resources Canada here in, in Canada, are interested in making money available to companies to help them develop their deposits or or the, 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 the production of material, the processing of material. So we actually made a submission to the DOD, so the Department of Defense, a white paper submission at the end of September, uh, where we're looking to participate in this program. If we're successful with that, then the Canadian government also piggybacks on that and puts money into uh, a program as well. So we're we're cautiously optimistic that this will be received uh, positively, given all the, the 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 tremendous attributes that I just alluded to with respect to the Albany graphite deposit. We're also in direct conversation, particularly with the Canadian government, about uh, our uh, deposit and how we take that forward. We're in, in conversations with our partners at Constance Lake First Nation about moving this forward as well. So there's a fair amount of activity going on right now. Um, you know, there, the, obviously these things take some time, but given the need and the supply deficit that there is in the North American market, we think there's a real opportunity for uh, the Albany graphite deposit moving forward. Great, changing gears now. Um, let's discuss why the battery results from Ford and U of T are so important. The battery results from U and T and Ford are incredibly important because graphite is a, it, it, while it's a critical mineral, it's an industrial mineral and not all graphite is made equal. So you have to be able to demonstrate that your industrial metal actually works in an application. OK, so the the method to produce our graphite, the size of the graphite flakes, the purity of our graphite is all really, really important when you go to put it into a specific chemistry, whether that be in a battery, whether it be in a nuclear reactor, whether it be in powder metallurgy, the specifics around the actual element itself are really, really important. The results that we announced uh, going back a couple of months ago was some uh, initial testing that we've done with Ford and U of T on taking our material and actually getting it into an anode. And that material performed incredibly well. So that is really, really important because now we're connecting the use of not only just getting the material out of the ground, but making it work in a battery. There's in that supply chain, there's not only the extraction of the carbon from the ground, the graphite from the ground, but then you have to process it. You have to coat it. You have to shape it. You have to make it work in a battery. And that's what we're proving up now. And we're getting really, really good results as evidenced by the news we put out. We continue to do work in that regard. Uh, and we will make those results available to the market once we have them. But this is a really, really pivotal moment for us. We announced that we were able to get our material to five nines purity, so 99.999 plus percent, which is critical for high-end applications and more importantly, valuation. So we will have much more information to come on Albany in the coming weeks and months, uh, but we're really, really happy with where we're at. And I think there's gonna be a real focus on this going forward. Anything else that you wanna talk about, Greg, and what's next? No, I think I think that's a, a a good synopsis of where we're at. We continue to work really, really hard at uh, proving up the purification process. Where we we've obviously demonstrated the the level of purity that we can get it to now. Continue to work hard on the battery results. Work towards funding and getting the the entity capitalized, the Albany Graphite Corp capitalized, so we can take it forward. So. Uh, we're really happy with where we are right now. Look forward to uh, bringing more information to the market as we come. And on our next episode, we're going to change the focus and look at uh, the Aptimer program. We haven't had an update on Aptimers in a while, but we're excited about some developments that are going on there and we'll bring the market up to speed once we get those. So that uh, concludes the fifth episode of Zen Talk. Don't forget, if you have any questions, please send them in. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe to get all the latest updates on Zentech, and we look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Have a great day.